Good evening, everybody. How y'all doing tonight? Friday night. We in DC. Tonight, today's the seventh, right? Damn. Seven more days until Valentine's Day. Y'all excited? It's good to know I'm not the only lonely person here. Right? But, um, you know, you think you're an emotionally stable person until Valentine's Day comes around. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're fighting the urge to text your ex while you're on the toilet. I, I believe in us. <laughs> we got any couples here tonight? Any, any couples? Okay, we got one in the back. All right, y'all married? Married. Okay, hey, give a round of applause for the married couple in the back. <laughs> My, hey, my man in the back, you really outdid yourself, man. Like, you did really good for yourself, man. See, that's where we need to be. That's where I want to be. Goals, right? But, you know, real love takes hard work, determination. It takes, it takes effort. You know, you see somebody, you say hello. You develop a friendship. You know, you start catching feelings. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Then you develop an actual care for the person, and you know you experience the beginnings of love, and next thing you know, you're happily ever after. You know, our people, on the other hand, we like to cut corners. <laughs> All it takes is a couple of really long text messages, a late night phone convo, and a half decent coffee date. Next thing you know, you have a Muslim girl feeling like she got some jagged edge inside her. <laughs> you see her in public, you're like, hey, in her mind, she went from the hey to let's get married. <laughs> Meet me at the masjid in your white coat. <laughs> we ain't getting no younger, we might as well do it. <laughs> right? It's just we love to just bounce from thing to thing. You know, hey, fellas, I don't know a lot about women, but I do know one thing, is that women love consistency, right? Am I right, women? Yeah. Please make some noise. If, am I speaking some sense? <laughs> women love consistency, right? And the issue is when this woman that's had one decent, half decent coffee date, is that in her mind, she wants to go ahead and go for it. Her friends will ask her, girl, how, you, how's, how, how things going with so-and-so? In her mind, she'll be like, girl, I think he might be the one. <laughs> he make my heart skip a beat every time his name pop up on my phone. <laughs> Not on the outside, though. She's like, oh, no, we're cool. We're just talking. <laughs> Everybody in here is in a talking phase with somebody. <laughs> And the problem with that talking phase is that it's not official, right? It's, there's no formal rules behind it, so the communication is gonna be a little inconsistent. Guys, women don't like inconsistency. <laughs> Gotta be consistent. <clears throat> and ladies, let me speak to y'all. It's really hard for us to be consistent. Like, it's a very high bar that y'all set. You know, it's just, it's so hard being consistent with the multiple people that you're talking to at the same time. <laughs> they know what I'm talking about right there. Mm-hmm. Yup, you look like you got, you got shorty one, number two, three, four, five. Let me guess. This is how the conversation goes, right? Naturally, there's a lot of people here laughing, but in their mind, they're trying to figure out, <laughs> where do I land on the pecking order? Am I option A, B, or C? <laughs> Ladies, I'm gonna let you in on just a little secret. Okay, if you wanna figure out where you land on the pecking order, okay, next time you're on the phone with him, see how long it takes for him to start saying, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> Right? Because if it happens after 20, 30 minutes, 
honey, you're good. Okay, he's giving you his time and attention. He likes you, girl. Y'all got a future. But now if it's after five minutes and the conversation start going like this, uh-huh, yeah. yeah wow, that's crazy. <laughs> what's, what's so funny? Man, girl, I was just thinking about how lost I was before I found you. What you talking about? <laughs> now naturally, you might get mad get offended. And you want to address and confront him. Be like, hey, listen, um, I really like where we're going. I like the connection that we have, you know, we vibe, but like lately the energy's just not been there, right? And I know that I don't want to waste your time, you don't want to waste my time. And you know, we're both adults here. We know what we want, so I just want to understand and like, you know, make sure we're on the same page. Like, you know, what, what are we? <coughs> and his response might be like, Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> so then you get mad, you're like, oh no, 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 buddy, 2020, self-love is all about me, okay? I am a queen and I deserve nothing less than the best. So please, get right or you can get left, okay? I need to know, once and for all, what are we? And ladies, when you hear that really long sigh on the end of, other end of the phone, <laughs> and he says, well, you know, I'm just not really ready for a relationship. He left out two of the most important words with you. That's my sign, guys. Thank <laughs> you.